Hey y'all, it's me, Sebastian, and today I'm going to show you the Lego Ninjago, um, Battle for Ninjago City. This is set number, um, 70728. It's uh, recommended for ages 9 to 14, and it has 1,223 pieces. And plus, you, you get, um, the Overlord, which you can't get in any other set. <laughs> so here's the whole set. And of course you can see, you can see that there's a lot of Legos in the background. We'll get to that in, at the end of the video. For now, let's start on this. And this is a 2014 set. This is part of uh, Season 3 of Ninjago. And although it is a 2014 um, um, set, I am still seeing this in stores. I'm seeing it in Target, Toys R Us, Walmart. I am seeing it in a lot of places. But for now, on, let's just get her. <laughs> So let's take a look at your mini figures. First, you get Nia, which is Samurai X. If any of you saw episode 6 of Ninjago, she also has these two katanas, which all the ninjas have in the set. Even one of the ninjas, so we get so many of those weapons in here. And I kind of think of it, it's been a while since we've seen uh, Nia or Samurai X in a set. And I'm going to we get to see her again. And now let's take a look at the ninjas. You get Jay, Zane, and. Lloyd, they all come with the only gray katanas. Uh, these two are just gave wood, but these are all part. And as you can see, Jay and Zane have their very own techno blades, and he has this really cool transfer. She looks really good. This Jay looks a lot like the Jay from the, from I think the Jay Thunderblade. Set. And this Lloyd looks really great. So does Zane. So now let's take a look at your ninjaroids. You got a total of three ninjaroids, two have helmets, well one doesn't. And it has a kind of like Raphael's weapon from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And this one has like a really great, awesome, incredible weapon. I really like it. And this one has just a plain old katana. And of course these two faces are just like that one. And now for your final made mini figure, you get the one, the only overlord. And he has a really great incredible weapon. This piece is just like his, um, like Jay's techno blades. You can see it from here. And he has really great shoulder pads. Uh, you can, he has, uh, I think he, uh, yeah, he has backward dink, but not on the legs. And I don't really think I've seen a minifigure with backward dink on the legs. But then again, what do I know? Anyway, so that's all your minifigures. I also got uh, two extra ones on here. I don't know why, but I also have a spider here. They also have a little rat. I don't know why I put them there because I'm just fun and like rat. Anyway, uh, here's a uh, Zane's uh, flyer, or glider, or whatever you want to call it. And one of the flick flying missiles fell off. Um, see that red box over there? That's where I uh, put this in. That's where I got it from. And uh, the flick uh, flyer uh, came off for some reason. Yeah. I'll put it back. Anyway, you can't put. But to get Zane to go there, you have to take off his uh, silver shoulder pads to make him fit, or otherwise he can't. Anyway, now here's the the gate. Not a fancy. This has a really nice weapon on the top. It's really easy to build. And then here's a little tree here. It's a zip line, and you, and its main role there is for light. Zoom in to the zip line here. Yeah, it's attached to there, and it's also attached to this little tree here. there. And here's another piece which is attached to this uh, anchor here, which is tied up. And that also came in the set. And uh, here's the Overlord's mech. Oh, 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 snake walker, I don't know how you call it. Anyway, uh, the Overlord can't come over the way here, but I have to, I have to pull it down. Hang on, guys. And I have to take the weapon on the helmet off so I can... Okay, there we go. I got his legs off. And that's gonna put the armor. And also I gotta put my other weapon back on. Okay, so there we go. I got the overlord off. His legs come off. I'm sure you lose the legs. That might suggest it was not to lose the legs. I also, there's also, like, those really, like, cool, uh, like, quick firing missiles there. But I am I have lots of those missiles. I'll show you that. Maybe in later. Or so. If you haven't checked my other two videos, please do so. Right, so Overlord can really fit in there really good, right? And these legs, uh, they, they really do look great, just like in the show. 
and the way that the Overlord made this mech is with the power of the golden weapons, if you haven't seen episode 34. And so, <laughs> that's the whole basic parts. But now, let's take a look at the whole set. This is gonna take some time to take a look at. Sorry, I, I, I keep something. So now, let's first thing first, let's move all this stuff out of the way. So we can get a better angle. Let me detach this from the tree. And put the tree aside. <laughs> okay, so here's the whole set, and you're going to get greeted. You get, uh, you see a giant dragon here. These two flags. This dragon kind of reminds you of the dragon from the Lego Land Hotel. There's some stairs, and he made those one. One of those two holes. No, we'll get to that now. Anyway, there's like, see this like little red dot. I'm sure you can see. I gotta get a better angle of the camera. Look at the red dot there, and if you move it, it's supposed to like move the legs. You can see the holes are like moving when I'm touching that. You can see, let's see. Okay. But this thing is jam packed with weapons. Mm. Here's some really great details. And these things can turn around. This one has weapons, some really great selection of weapons. You got a staff, another one of those uh, basic weapons, and a katana. And here you also get another katana and two more. Golden eyes, you can see them right there. See? It's a doorway, so you can enter it. does open up really great. So you can open them up and close them. Anyway, so there's a lot of weaponry there. So let's turn this whole thing around so you can see it. Here we have like these two, like, activate these, and you can see it's a shape. And there's also like this like flying thing just right in. You want to see it? Oh. <laughs> okay, so I'm kind of like too tired of really to put those back. Put it back. Oh. So just put it back. And in case you all lose one of those barrels, there's a spare one right here. Of course, you can also use spare ones. Yeah, you know, just put that on the back. Oh, come on. Oh, so just fold that back so you can fit. Oh. Anyway, uh, there are also these like flying discs which you go here and you like hold on to it. Look. Yeah, you can see it full out from, from there underneath the dragon's head so you can kind of see it. So now let's go into the castle play features in this thing. Um, it's kind of the doorway, I mean, it's kind of hard to see because there is not the first place. Actually, no, let me grab my uh, dad's flashlight. And I should help you see it better. So, here we go. So, there's my dad's flashlight. So, let's move back. Anyway, so here's like a little kitchen, like sight. And here's one of those crates, and it has two sausages in it. Okay, so let's turn it off. Anyway, here's like a table or like a. Let's just see what happens to my. Never mind. So you can see it better. Stove, and it's like bottles. And also a little safe. I mean, it, I think. I think get it from. And this is like. Uh, you can see it like there's a. Cupboards. And there's a jail. Oh yeah. But what's kind of weird is that if I move this jail so I can see it a little better. And if I put my phone here. Remember those shack weapons? And actually, look, see, you can, and I don't know because, and when you rotate it, the weapon, the bad guy can grab the weapons. You can see them exactly again. You see the weapons there, and the bad guy can grab it and escape. That's kind of a weird touch that Lego added. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Anyway, so that's the flicking that allows the stairs to active, activate the movie traps. Actually, let me demonstrate for you. <laughs> I'm gonna grab a Ninjoy. And now, uh, you can see, gonna... And see, the ninja fell off because I was slipping the thing. <laughs> anyway, so there's a little barrel there. You see it? There's a little barrel. And that's attached to the stairs. And here's some, uh, like, really great, uh... Actually, no, these didn't come in the set. These came in the Lego City set. And the other weapon shack. The treasure chest would have the gold studs in it. And here's the control room. Here's a barrel full. 
There's another crate full with there's the zip line and I think that's uh I think that's an axe and there's another uh another piece there. And as you can see there's a wrench. See? And here's another there's another door come. There's like a box there. A moving seat. A computer, really great computer actually. Really great, lots of technology. And also walkie talkie. Spinning chair here. Anyway, yeah, that's that's the whole Lego Ninja Gaga set completely. Oh, let me avoid this, this thing back here. I also like an absolute nothing fancy there. So now we put all this back. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Well, we can go and actually to finish off the mood. Here are all the Legos here. I have lots of Legos. I have SpongeBob. I have I have one of the Legos which we will get to other videos. I have SpongeBob. So just SpongeBob. There's a crazy crab. I don't see what it all would have with on it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And stay tuned for more. Oh, and also um, be sure to check out my other two videos if you haven't already. For more awesomeness. Bye.